What happens when aluminium meets mercury? A reaction so strange it grows hair. Let's explore this fascinating process. When mercury touches aluminium, it forms an amalgam, a mixture of the two metals. Tiny hair-like structures start growing from the surface. These hairs are actually aluminium amalgam, breaking down as it reacts with oxygen in the air. The result? A layer of white aluminium oxide forms, giving it a unique texture. The dissolved mercury moves across the surface, exposing more aluminium to oxygen, creating a chain reaction. It's like watching chemistry come alive. A hairy, dynamic reaction that's both beautiful and scientifically valuable. Meet lithium, the soft, silvery metal that's so light it can float on water. But don't be fooled, it's full of surprises. Lithium is so soft you can easily cut it with a knife. Its shiny surface doesn't last long, though. Exposed to air, lithium reacts quickly, forming a dark layer of lithium oxide. It's like the metal protecting itself from the environment. But it gets even more exciting. Lithium reacts vigorously with sulfur, forming lithium sulfide, a bright yellow compound that's as reactive as it sounds. And when lithium meets water, a fizzing fiery show, it releases hydrogen gas and enough heat to ignite it. That's lithium's fiery personality. Soft, reactive and explosive. Lithium is small but mighty in the periodic table. What if I told you chemistry could create something as stunning as golden rain? Let's dive into this magical experiment. To create golden rain, we start with two clear solutions, potassium iodide and lead nitrate. When these two mix, a chemical reaction begins. Almost instantly, beautiful yellow-yellow dyed precipitates out of the solution. Heat it up, and the crystals dissolve. Let it cool, and the golden rain falls again. These shimmering crystals are what we call golden rain, a reversible reaction that never stops amazing the miracle. The golden rain can perform transformations, supporting physical health, which helps woven stress and anxiety, and strengthen the mind and spirits. This is gallium, the metal that looks solid but melts with just a touch. Let's dive into why it's so fascinating. Gallium melts at just under 30 degrees Celsius, which means it turns from solid to liquid in the palm of your hand. It's like magic, but it's pure science. Gallium is soft, silvery and non-toxic, making it safe to handle. But don't be fooled, it can do some real damage to aluminium. When gallium meets aluminium, it seeps into the metal, weakening its structure. Over time, it destroys the can completely. That's gallium for you, gentle to humans, but deadly to aluminium. From melting in your hand to wreaking havoc on aluminium, gallium is one of the coolest metals you'll ever see. What's cooler than oxygen? Liquid oxygen. Let's explore its fascinating properties. At minus 183 degrees Celsius, oxygen turns into a pale blue liquid. This extreme cold gives it some amazing properties. Did you know, liquid oxygen is magnetic? It's because of unpaired electrons in its molecules, making it paramagnetic. This property is rare and unique, showing the incredible interplay between physics and chemistry. Science meets everyday life. What happens when aluminium meets bromine? Let's find out in this explosive reaction. Bromine is a highly reactive liquid. When aluminium, a reactive metal, is added to it, the reaction is instant and exothermic, releasing intense heat and light. That's chemistry in action. The result? Aluminium bromide, a compound formed as aluminium donates electrons to bromine, it's a classic redox reaction. A spectacular display of chemistry's power. Aluminium and bromine, two ordinary elements 
one extraordinary reaction. What happens when metals meet water? Let's find out with lithium, sodium, potassium, and calcium. Lithium. It reacts slowly, releasing hydrogen gas and turning the universal indicator blue. That's because it forms an alkaline solution, lithium hydroxide. Next, sodium. It reacts faster, skimming on the water's surface, while also turning the indicator blue. The product? Sodium hydroxide. Now, potassium. This one reacts explosively, even catching fire. The result is potassium hydroxide, another alkaline solution turning the indicator blue. Finally, calcium. It reacts moderately, forming bubbles of hydrogen gas and, you guessed it, turning the water blue due to calcium hydroxide. From gentle fizzing to fiery reactions, these metals reveal the magic of chemistry.